Hey everyone, this is Danny, the maintainer of React Native Storybook, and I want to show you how you can easily get started with React Native Storybook. I'm going to create a new Expo app using the TypeScript template. And you can do this in your existing app. I'm just creating a new one to show you how you can just run our initialization script and, and get started. So there's a couple of manual steps, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's hard to get around that. So I'm just going to go through those and hopefully this will make it easier. You can also use the Expo template or all the React Native uh, CLI template that I've created. You look, there's this template called Expo Template Storybook and for React Native in it, there is this template called React Native Template Storybook. So now I'm going to go to this new app that I've just created and I'm going to run SB init. So I always make sure to add this latest here so that you get the latest version of the template and this will add all the dependencies and files that you need to initially get started. If I run this now from inside of that project, it's just going to install a couple of things and add some files and we'll open that up and have a look in just a second. Give that a moment. There we go. So as you can see from this little bit of text here, we actually do have to make some manual changes. That's why we have this note here. And basically what you have to do is just make export the storybook component out because in React Native Storybook, we don't run separately in, in a separate web app because we have to run you know, with all your dependencies and your native setup and anything that makes your app run. So we have to run it within that environment. So if I now open up VS Code in this repository, I can show you what got added and I'll show you what you need to do. So I've already just copied this. I'll do it again. And so inside this project, we have a storybook folder that got added by that command. It added a config file Right now it's pointing to this stories folder and you can change that to wherever you want, but it's just for, for getting started. So you can see how it works. We've got this index file, which does some setup. We have a, a generated file here that you'll use to basically generate all the imports. There's changes coming to that in the future so that you won't have to do that as often or even really at all. And then we have a preview, which just you can find out more about these on the storybook documentation but that just lets you add things like parameters and decorators, which work like you know, providers and things like that in there. So basically what we have to do right now, so we can get Storybook to render, we can kind of just like comment out all this code in the app file and just export Storybook. So like in your real app, if you wanted to like switch between Storybook and uh, your app, you can do some things, a couple of different things, but you, you can use like an environment variable or something you know, and then render out the thing depending on what, you know, this variable or whatever. But I, I wrote a blog about that and I have a video. So um, I'll add those in the description of this video. Now that we've made this change, there's one more thing that we should adjust, which is in the Metro config, which right now we don't have, but you can generate by just telling Expo that you want to customize Metro. So command is expo customize metro config yes and then once you've done that you just want to go in here and do config dot resolver dot resolver main fields and then add at the beginning using unshift sv modern and this will just make sure that we get all the the latest storybook files the versions of storybook that are bundled for like modern JavaScript output. And that's important because some of the old polyfills break React Native. And so we just get around that by using this uh, resolve on main fields to say, always prefer SP modern version of those JavaScript files. And then that's basically everything you need to do. And you'll just now run your app like normal that you would with an, any other Expo app. And we'll just bring up the the simulator here, and I'll launch Expo. 
there you go. Now we've got Storybook running. You can bring up controls here with this little button at the bottom right. And there you go. That's pretty much everything you have to do. Um, past that, it's just a case of you know, figuring out where you want to put your story files and how you want to use Storybook, basically. So hopefully this helps you get started. And let me know on Twitter or in the comments if you have any questions. So thanks.